Yo, so recently I found a mod that, uh, like from what I've heard, it replaces um all the segments in Smash It with their respective segments in Smash It VR. And if you've watched that video I made like two and a half years ago, or any of my Smash It VR videos, you'd know that um. Like, the segments in Smash It VR have been, like, are changed to make it a bit easier. Because you're in, like, in 360 and you can look in different directions. It's so, like, apparently, from what I found, um, this replaces those segments. Obviously, with this mod, we're not going to be doing the other game modes. Because, um, like, other game modes aren't in Smash It VR. Which, I'm a bit... Uh, like annoyed about, but I guess it makes sense. So, today we're going to be playing this mod, and I'll provide the link in the description. So, let's go. Alright, starting off regularly. Oh, this already looks promising. This looks like the starting segments in Smash It VR, with the crystals changed up a bit. Alright, so I wasn't immediately ripped off with this mod. It looks exactly the same. I'd also like for the menu to look exact- almost exactly like it would in Smash It VR, but I guess that can change uh, I think something's a bit wrong with the color of the glass there. Oh, automatic door. The glass is a bit lighter than it should be. That's not the col- that's not what the color of the glass is supposed to be. Okay, so first inconsistency, uh, aside from the fact that this isn't Smash It VR and it's, just a, and it's just where all the segments are replaced, the color of the glass is changed up a bit. Not sure if that's intentional or some problem porting them over. Alright, next automatic door. Not this. Oh boy. It was intentional, recoloring the glass. I hate it when that happens. It, like, makes it look so much worse and clash with the whole thing. On the bright side, though, at least it is the VR segment. Oh, and the weird asymmetry with the five crystals instead of six. Because in VR, it's five crystals instead of six. Alright. Checkpoint one. Alright. Oh, the glass color looks so ugly. It really pisses me off when I see, like, they change the glass color. It makes it look so much worse. It clashes. Oh, the five crystal. Jackpot, kind of. Whenever I'm playing Smash at VR and I get to that segment, I always feel, like, satisfied that I got it. Oh, and the three crystals there. And the three crystals there. Oh my gosh. You couldn't have kept the same color of the glass. What's sad is that like the majority of Smash It mods do that. Makes it look so much worse. Sad really. That and adding way too many really low quality segments and changing the sound effects to be a little garbage. Like, if I were to, like, if I were to, like, magically change every Smash It mod to my liking, it would just be to, like, remove all the bad segments that people created, and, like, fix the weird glass colors to normal. Like, what is this blue color in Checkpoint 1? And, like, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, oh, and, like, when you hit a crystal and get, like, 5,000 balls, who the frick wants that? Okay? At least the main point of the mod is holding up. It does have the VR segments in place of the regular ones. I don't know whether to call that the only upside or not, to be honest. Oh, oh. Sometimes those things can seem really close to you but still go under, and sometimes they don't for some reason. Oh boy. Gosh, sometimes they can just swing up and hit you in the face. Oh, this shade of blue. Okay. Uh, I really don't like 
the weird black colors that people put on. I like how they are, thank you. I was expecting a bunch of pieces of glass to like get catapulted up, but only like one thing stayed on the painting. Like when you destroy a painting a bunch, um, like one of those, um, one of those, what are they, what are they called? Shifting up glass panes or something? I can't remember. Oh, drop, flip, drop up glass panes or something. Like if you destroy them before they come up, and like a bunch of shards of glass remain on the thing itself, then once it does flip up, it like flips, because of how momentum works and, come, and like energy, like it just flings all the things with it. Okay, this one I'm seeing a few minor differences, like the walls over there were changed to fit well with VR. Isn't like porting a game, like you make a game for like desktop or mobile, and then like trying to make a new recreation of it for VR, isn't that like really hard? I know nothing about this, so like don't take my word, but I have a feeling it's like really hard to do. So, oh yeah, crystal's right in the way, because of how the segments are built. I'm gonna try to ignore the weird glass color and just move on with my life. Nope. Went right out of my way by himself. Okay. Get those crystals right in the way. He's made for easier accessibility for VR. The whole modding exists. Someone was able to port the VR segments into regular Snapchat. Or at least very close to recreate them. Most likely the first option, although I don't know how those things work. Alright, if I time them right and do the math in my head, I can just not hit the shifting glass pane. And because I know they'll just slide right out of my way. Oh, there wasn't a okay. hold on. Oh yeah, they're hitting a floor down there. Because there's a floor in VR. Although if you've played the Smash It Shorts mod, you'll know that there isn't a floor down there regularly in regular Smash It. Oh, that weird floating platform. Like that. Alright. Checkpoint 3. It's weird purple color. Ah, God. I'm gonna try to ignore the weirdly colored glass and just try to play the game. I mean, the VR segments are pretty nice. I like them. Like, Usually when you're playing VR, it's kind of the only option. But like, since they're different than regular, it's, it's pretty cool to see you playing them in regular Smash It. And you use a mod, how do you do that? Oh. Thought about that. There are two crystals beside it. Feel to react fast enough though. Whoa. Oh yeah, there's Octocedral crystals there now. Oh yeah, I forgot. A bunch of changes they made to VR, I forgot. Oh boy. Oh crap. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Are we gonna? Alright. More Oxid Eagle Crystals. It's pretty much just the same. Well, there are probably a bunch of other structural differences that just aren't in my view. Or they're just too small to, like, actually be noticed by conventional people. Like, maybe that little part over there could have been tweaked, but, like, he wouldn't know. Because it'd be a pain. Sometimes my mind goes, like, is that an automatic door or not? Because, like, the, the crystals are in place of the buttons, which feels super weird. I mean, I know it's an automatic door, but part of my brain is like... Wait, it, what if it doesn't open, and it only opens once you hit both of the crystals? 
or like if you don't hit the crystals, it won't open. And what? And if you do, then it will open once you're close enough. Kind of like a self-triggered, or I don't know, different object triggered automatic door or something. Also, I forgot to mention that this room doesn't rotate, and there's no power up there. There's no time slow because it makes a bit. Because like in Smash It VR, usually when you collect a power up, it like instantly activates because it would be it would be weird to like have to put like an inventory system like we do regularly. Like you store your power up and you can activate them later, like I just did. But in Smash It VR. It would be a bit tough to implement that, both like for the gameplay and technical. So they just made it so that you instantly collect the power. So that would be just really weird. Like you're like, oh, I, oh, all right, I'm coming into the final room in checkpoint three, and then there's a, then the time slow power up goes up, and then you collect it, and then it instantly slows you down, like it slows your time as it takes effect, and that wouldn't be very useful. So they kind of just like removed it from the segments to make it easier. Instead of having to do that in all sense. Although it is in one room in endless mode, for some reason. Like the spinning cube part thing in endless mode. Oh yeah. Instead of two pyramid crystals, there is one octahedral crystal to the side. Whoa. Segments probably go for like a lot longer because usually in Smash it you have a pretty narrow field of view, so like the segments could just cut off like right below it and you wouldn't know. But with VR you're just looking around everywhere, so like if it were regular, um, then you'd be able to see the cutoff very clearly. So like they made it so that they go way deeper, so that they actually like fade out from the fog, so that way it looks like oh it actually is endless. Which makes sense for VR, although it doesn't really have the focus here. My guess is they kept it, just for like the sake of the thing. If you've played the shorts mod, you'll see that it's a lot mess more messed up than you think. Oh yeah, there's no crystals up there. It's like one of the biggest pains of that se of um like that segment right there is that there's two crystals up there you need to hit. And if the, and the, that pop-up down glass pane could get in your way and cause you to miss one of them, losing your multiple status, or causing you to crash. So it's really convenient that they added it. It makes the arch a bit weird, though. Like, the arch above it, because they kept the arch, where the crystals usually are. So. Like the, then what? Like what are you gonna put up there? Just air? I mean that's what is up there right now. You know what I mean. Like putting it behind it just makes it a lot easier. Like you have to destroy it anyway if you don't want it to crash into you. So once it is destroyed, it's a lot easier to get the crystal. So kind of forced. Checkpoint five. All right, fireball. Oh yeah, those ones are lowered. And there's no, there's no, um, like, metal bar in there. Oh my gosh, I literally just remembered that they, like, affect the color of the glass. Like, I did not pay any attention to that in checkpoint 4, I'm not joking. Oh well, too late now. At least the crystals aren't changed, that would have been a nightmare. Oh, that metal obstacle thing was replaced with a belt belt, that's what it, the, a glass rod is called, and like there's a metal thing in the middle, that's what it's called. At least that's what it is on a smash hit wiki, and I just go off there. You noticed, if you look like, you know like the bubble particles that are like coming up from the ground here, like in checkpoint 5, as to give the illusion that they're, that you're underwater? Like if you noticed, like they actually take on the texture of the ball, like, the gray ball thing that you see in the multiplier. Like, I didn't really notice that, but I guess it looks to me. There's no red wall up there in that segment. Because, like, they removed it for the VR thing. 
Yes, that would be weird. Look back and be on his side. Alright, here's the tunnel. I, I really liked looking backwards here in VR. And the power ups were removed. Replaced by two octahedral crystals. Because that would be really weird. There's a fireball power up and a time slow power up. And had you just collected both of those in one in VR, one of them would go to waste. And the and and depends on which order you pick them up in. And the time slow could really mess up with your concentration. Or it'd just be really annoying. Time slow in general would be really annoying in Magic VR. Oh yeah, these segments were drastically changed. <laughs> Using this power up incorrectly. Like all the things are just Oh my gosh, that is so much lower than I thought. I think it's always been like that. It's just Oh gosh. That was risky. It's a lot more expansive. So like it's really easy to hit in VR, but not really meant for this. Oh, there's three there instead of one. Alright, I got three birds. Three again. I changed it to three. Probably for like accessibility purposes or something, I don't know. Sixteen minutes into the video, hasn't even like crashed on Mr. Crystal. Oh yeah. That wall is kind of extended. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I just notice differences that I just can't seem to like point out. Like, in my brain it's like, oh there's a difference there, but like I just can't verbally say it for some reason. Some segments are really obvious that they were from VR, but others are like practically indistinguishable. I should probably like do a comparison. Like normal Smash It versus Smash It VR segment mod versus Smash It VR. Like I should try that sometime. Put down in the comments. Uh, if you would like to see me do that. Cause, yeah. I did, a, a while ago, like, a, a year or two ago, like, I think it was, like, two years ago, I did, like, a regular Smash It versus Smash It VR comparison, and you guys really liked it. So I'm gonna these videos, so, like, wanna see me do big, long comparisons like that, just comment. Also, while you're down there, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss out on any other videos. Oh, stop. Well, there's three down there. Okay. Checkpoint seven. That's what I thought. I very faintly heard... Oh, red color for black. I very faintly heard, like, all hitting the floor. Because, like, a floor and ceiling were added for checkpoint seven in Smash at VR. Oh, this discolored glass is so disgusting. Why'd they change it to this color? Sorry about like ranting all over it, but like, it just doesn't make sense. Oh, they changed the crystal color too? Oh. This looks disgusting. It looks like, this looks like it comes from like one of those really bad custom mods. Like, smash it too, or like... Custom hit 1.5 with new added segments, like all those. They just take the original segments, make them worse. I prefer the original segments as they are. Thank you very much. Alright, can't remember what differences are on this one. I, I know for a fact that. Never mind. I think I got mixed up. It's like, I know for a fact that there's something different with, like, the segments with the 10 with the ten ball crystal. The star shape one. But then I re remembered that it was in my first Smash It VR video, where I attempted to miss it, and then look behind, like, after I passed it, and try to hit the ball from there, but I failed. Oh, yeah, there's only one power-up. Oh, shoot. I just wiped one of my 
Ball frenzy power ups from a distance. Oh. That power up cap sometimes really is me off. A lot of times I'm kind of like, oh, I'll just collect all my power ups. And no, shoot. Oh well, now's the time to use them. Explode. Oh, not that one. Only one thing. Oh, this one can be a pain. Oh, they changed that one to two bars. Oh, gosh, that was close. They made this one. I think this is like the most effective gameplay wise. It's made so much easier. Like, I can't remember the last time I played training mode, but it was like, like really similar. A bunch of the glass bars have been removed. Fire! I can't believe I keep wasting my power ups. Like, I collect them. But then, like, I collect, I keep collecting more, and then eventually they get wiped from existence. Well, not existence, but, like, they just get wiped from my inventory. How's that? Okay. Phew. Maybe it's that nightmare. It's like one of my least favorite rooms in Smash It. Just because of how annoying it is. This one's fine. It introduces a bunch more string obstacles, including the painting, which I feel is a nice addition. Like, an even harder square on strings with like a metal thing in the middle. Metal in the middle. I'm having some flashbacks. Alright. They removed the two power-ups there. I really like that thing. Oh! It is light green color for the glass. Oh, I hate it. I mean, I like that they replaced it with, like, the VR segments. But, like, why did they have to change the glass color as well? It's so bad. If you guys know any mods that, like, replace the regular segments with VR ones, but, like, it doesn't change the glass color to something hideous. Please, like, give the link to me. Call me picky, but sometimes it can just, like, leave me going on a rampage. Not, not literally, but you know what I mean. A lot of people recently in Smash It community have kind of been pissed off. So many bad mods of this, like, that, just, like, like, that vandalize the original segment and do horrible things. Stop exaggerating and get on with the checkpoint. Alright, that one went technically not a waste because I substituted one fireball power-up for another. I collected a fireball power-up and a fireball power-up disappeared from my inventory. So, well, actually, that would lead me down one ball, because I had to expend a ball to get that. Never mind. There's only one propeller back there, instead of the usual two. And there's no pro second propeller there. The segments, like, make a lot more sense when you're playing them in VR. Like, they're meant for VR. But, like, when you mod the game, the, the original, like, the regular, for mobile, and, like, port the VR segments over to the, the mobile game, then it suddenly becomes clear why they're specifically meant to VR. Like, the gameplay's altered, sometimes it's a bit too easy, sometimes it's really annoying, like the second game of Checkpoint 8. I mean, that one's kind of always been annoying, from the beta, from the beta versions leaked in 0.9.0 to the ones today. Oh, what is this? They are not meant to be that short. Well, found my first structural inconsistency. The gl these glass bars are meant to be a lot longer than they actually are. Usually with regular Smash It, they're long enough so that you can't see the ends of them. And with VR, they're meant to be even longer, so that they fade off into the fog if you just look down them. That's not how they're supposed to work. Oh, this one I don't think was changed. <laughs> okay, so I think this room kind of caused some problems for reporting it over. 
Wait, now that I look back, I think, like, this room, like, the metal struts that connect the ends, like, that support them, were, like, a lot longer. And, like, they, the metal struts themselves reached into the void. Right. And I also kind of recently learned that fireball power-ups are actually ridiculously effective for this, um, for this room, which I don't know why I haven't tested it out earlier. Kind of because, kind of partially because, like, look. Or, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Shoot. I might be a bit mistaken. Uh... Okay, so either something was messed up, the segment prevent- Okay, so either I remembered wrong, or the segment was altered, and I couldn't do what I usually could do that I found out recently. Or... I don't know, something else. It involved, like, making this segment more passable, and like, less easier. Or like, you know, less harder. Okay. That midway section with the crystal, usually you have to like spam to get it, but fortunately it should be a lot easier for me right now, because I don't have some type of ball. Also the lasers were removed for ease of access. Alright. Got them. This weird purple color on the glass I don't like as well. Although, it, the, per the color itself looks nice, but not exactly the best. In this position. All right, let's see what we've got here. Whoa! Since perspective changes in zero point in sorry, since like perspective changes changes in VR, like it looks like you're further away from obstacles than you actually are. Maybe that's how it actually is. It feels like that these things launch themselves closer to you. Like, since perspective is, like, a bit changed in VR, like, you have a higher FOV, so it feels like things are are starting to act... But like, distance-related ob... Tri like, distance-triggered obstacles, like those throwing glass caves and stuff. Like, they launch further away from you in VR. So it was probably tweaked so that they launch a bit closer to maintain consistency, which would mean they launch even closer here. Guess I'm going to check point 11 with just quadruple ball. For some reason, I have a weird obsession of like every checkpoint I have saved, I must have quintuple ball. Otherwise, it just like haunts me. It's like I must get quintuple ball on this, and it's even it's made even more annoying if I don't have premium for some reason, like it doesn't. Work. Or like it's an older version or something. So I like have to play through everything else. Alright, checkpoint 11. Can't remember what tweaks were made to this room. If any were made. Wait a second. Is it, there's like a shade of blue close up on those glass obstacles, just a sec. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't like that blue tint. Oh, that one came straight at me. <gasps> there is a blue tint. <gasps> oh, it's like a purple color or something. Why would there be purple colored glass in checkpoint 11? Well, maybe it's blue. It's just the intense red colors of this checkpoint kind of like contrast it. And only white light, like from those crevices or like bright yellow light, it like allows purple light to like make it through. Kind of like how light works in real life. Objects that only reflect a certain color appear black when that color is removed from the light that is hitting it. Okay, I'm going way off topic. I need to focus on the game. Because of the gameplay of this zone, I can easily get get a bunch of balls because it's kind of slow. 
and since the transformer crystals start out as 10 ball ones, I can easily snipe them with the no gravity. Wait. Either my memory's wrong, or that segment was tweaked. Like, the two crystal ones, I thought that was, like, tweaks to it. Like, a crystal was removed or something? Or maybe I'm just getting it confused with training mode. Either that, or they forgot to port that one over. Everything just feels different. Like, it could have an inconsistency, and, in, like, it may not be the VR segment, but, like, it feels like it is, nevertheless. Alright, here we go, last one. Oh. Oh. Oh, I've seen this before a few times on the internet. The glass color's been changed to blue. Which, the color itself I find nice, but it doesn't exactly fit well with the obstacles. And I think because of, like, the intense red colors of the checkpoint in the previous zones were kind of, like, hiding the blue, the quote-unquote blueness from it, and made it look like more of a purple tint in that white light from the crevices on the walls where the paints come out of. Whoa. Get detached, squeezes. Alright. The tunnels. Alright. Here we go. Now entering in this mode. Alright, checkpoint infinity. Oh, and the glass. I think the glass has been slightly changed. Oh, I remember that. That segment was changed to a single 10 ball crystal. I think a hint of brown was like added to the glass here. It looks a bit like it was either made blacker or a tiny bit browner. Oh yeah, just only one crystal attached to all there. Oh, and just two octahedral crystals in the hole instead of eight pyramid crystals. Two door outlines for some reason. Haha! Oh. <laughs> A time throw power up. But I don't remember them being in the segment. Either I, it's, it's probably an inconsistency. Oh, one of every power up. Well, oh, I hit the second one before the first. Gosh, I missed. All right. Maybe there. Well, I thought I was gonna crash. He just like cracked glass. It didn't count. Specifically in this room is the only way you can get a time slow power up in Smash It VR. I know that from experience. Alright, So many power ups in this one for some reason. I mean, I get it can be a bit of a relaxing point, but one part of me is like, why is there so many? That doesn't make sense. Those hit by the like glass and just spread out. Uh, all frenzy activate. Shoot! Oh crap. Well, it's fine. I can live without quintuple ball. Yeah, just kidding, I can't. It's like the. They just get harder, and 
without multi ball is a lot more hard. Shoot! It's like endless mode was specifically designed to get like harder and harder as, you, as time goes on. Alright, from now on, only ball frenzy power up. Those are the ones I'm gonna want. Oh god! Fireball power ups are so ineffective against glass cannons compared with other obstacles. Single balls are as well, like singular balls are just. Alright, I won't use any power ups unless it's an emergency or I've ran out of balls. If I've ran out of balls, the only power ups that are going to. How did that. It just like phased through me. How did that happen? Probably a bug. Ball frenzy. Like that. Like that. All right. I'll pass on that fireball. Ball frenzy. Only ball frenzy from now on. Because you can cheat death with ball frenzy. If you've lost all your balls and act and you have one, you can activate it and keep going for a period of time. Because while you have ball frenzy activated, you have infinite balls. All right, my inventory is stocked with ball frenzy. If something else happens and it gets too hard, I'll act sacrifice my double ball. But I activated a ball frenzy. All right, when I see a ball frenzy, I'm going to activate. One I already have and then get it. I just wasted one ball. In endless mode, balls are, you need to conserve them. Because one ball, losing one ball can mean the difference between life and death. I mean, at certain points, eventually you're gonna lose because smash it for infinite. Pass first endless mode after like. 10, 10,000 distance. Something. Or 8,000. I can't remember. And then you get to the second endless mode. Shoot! And then after that is the third one, and then you just keep looping. Third endless mode. I get my info from the transfer so that's just what I'm facing it off of. Alright. And pass that only 61 balls left. I'm gonna short it. These ball frenzies. I'm going to come major handy. Because I momentarily am invincible. Alright. that. This one's a bit boring comparatively, because you're just like destroying bars, getting cri getting crystals. And power up. Eventually, as it gets harder, it, just, it goes to just hitting bars. All right. Oh, those launchers. All right. I think this might be the room where I die. That's just a prediction. Or is it? Alright, I'll get as much distance as I can from the slowing effect, and then activate it again. Since I am momentarily invincible... Whoa, it put, it put down- it started putting down the best distance marker. Alright, if I- if I'm lucky enough to get another ball frenzy, then I can continue for a little bit more. Will it? Will it I run? No. Fifteen K. All right, let's go. Okay, so that was VR segments smash it for you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video, all that crap, and bye.